but the stream started a little bit before seven. But, you know, we'll be getting going by. We'll be getting going by then. So like, you know, it's it's basically the same. All right. Um, let's quickly check how many routes we've got open to us. We've got four: Suzuhas, Lucas, Myeries, and Moikas. Well, we've got to do a random number generator, really, haven't we? Or should we? I mean, like, the way it's put us, I feel like we should probably just do Suzuhas. Like, you know, the way, the way it's been laid out, we've kind of got... Then we can have our pick of the three three next time. Because I feel like, you know, we, we, we want to we, we wanna finish this row. We might as well. We're, we've gotten to this point. I don't know, just my aesthetics tell me to do that one. I know I don't usually choose which one we do. I usually leave it up to a spin, but... The aesthetics tell me that this is the one that I should do. So it's probably the one that I'm gonna do. And I just realised that I have an emoji in my stream title, but I'll live with it. <laughs> I don't like this robot emojis on Twitch, I can't lie, but I will live with it. Right, F11. Hopefully that hasn't ruined the perspective. It probably has, but oh well. Time for Susan her story. Meow. Ghostly rendezvous. It looks like it has indeed ruined the perspective. Which is really annoying. It has. Why? Why? Why did it show up the way it did before? It just ruined absolutely everything. I think it's good. There we go. Fixed. Um, yeah, okay. I didn't mean to open that. It wasn't a dream. Oh, how do I do a Suzuha voice? It's the same um, voice. In English, it's the same voice actress that does um, Arsena and uh, freaking what's her name? Um, from Sona 5. I always forget her fucking name. The, the 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 smart w woman. I never remember her name. But but that one from Persona Fire she, she voices those. Oh, I don't I don't know how to do a I don't know how to do a voice though. So. I'm still half asleep, but I know it wasn't a dream. Last night was fun, at least until part way through. <coughs> I might not have been able to find Dad at the time machine off I meet, but Uncle okay, Rinter and the others call me one of their friends, one of their allies. And then the storm came, and the rain was terrible. The evening was a blast, but I slipped out early. I had a bad feeling about things. Up on Ruddy Khan's roof was my time machine. Busted. I, I just barely managed to stop myself from seeing the busted Phineas and Ferb song. All because of the choice I made. The time machine broke because I decided to make a stop in 2010 to look for my dad. I can't head further back into the past. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. That's all there is to it. I don't know how to fix the time machine. Only how to use it. That's why when I saw that on the way back, the shock was so intense that I assumed it was just a hallucination. I'm probably asleep and this is all a dream. Once I wake up, everything will vanish. That's what I thought. That's what I wanted. And I'd never have to see that ever again. That's what I thought. That's what I wanted. And now it's the morning. I'm in the tent I put up on the lawn in the corner of Kitanomaru Park, where I always spend the night. I awaken from my slumber and peek my face out from the tent. You sleep in a tent? What the fuck is that? Shoot it! Shoot it now! I mean, this is me speaking, right? Do I have to voice all of them? I guess. All right, I'll voice all of them. Morning. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> do I have to do this? It's time to wake up, master. Rise and shine. But unfortunately, that's still here. And by that, I'm referring to these other versions of me. I say versions because there are two of them. I mean, you know, we know where she's from. She's from the, 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 
Eve that was I never remember if it's Alpha or Beta. She's from the one where Kurisu dies. And it's her job to make sure the Kurisu doesn't die. The one in the military uniform is the first other me. She seems uptight and serious. I'm pretty sure she's a real soldier. I can tell by the way she holds herself. She, I'm pretty sure, is from World Line 3. 3% 3 divergence-ish. Yeah, somewhere around there. The other one in the maid outfit is the second other me. She seems super carefree. She's like just an ordinary citizen. I can tell by the way she holds herself. Maybe she's from Snyder's Gate, who knows? Work. There we go. The mic's working now. Hooray. I'm not sure what else I may have just done. I clicked things and now I'm really worried that I've messed something up. <laughs> we have not done it. We, we um, we've messed up. Okay, that's that one. That's fine. The others don't really do anything anyway, so it should be okay. My mouth isn't moving on my thing. Every time I get interrupted, this happens. I have a mute button, but it doesn't really work as a mute button, I guess, anymore. Anyway, hi, Rodent. Welcome to the scuff. Um, donate six Bitcoin. I wish. You know, if you feel like giving me six Bitcoin, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> oh, I'll happily take six Bitcoin. But how are you? Another nice 2 a.m. stream for you, is it? Or maybe not, maybe it's 1am or something now. Yesterday, on the way back from discovering that the time machine was broken, the two of them suddenly appeared near me. I have no clue why. Before I knew it, they were just there. And they're still here, if I'm not hallucinating anyhow. 11pm, that's not that bad. You only have gold chocolate coins? I mean, you know, I'm not going to say that gold chocolate coins are bad. Oh my, my phone is insane. And my Aries messaged me. Good morning, yesterday was fun. What? I don't remember that happening. Okay. That's a thing. What's wrong? Feeling unwell? Fuck, that's not a good voice. What's wrong? Feeling unwell? Not exactly. Uh, not exactly, but... I hope you're okay. You were pretty soaked yesterday. Maybe you caught a cold? I'm fine, I think. Thanks. It's a strange feeling to hear words of concern from someone with the exact same face as yourself. Why don't I make the Mr. Bump background transparent? Um, because that would take effort, you see. And, um,. I attempted to do that, it took more than 30 seconds, and I got bored. Well, see, I could have just drawn my own Mr. Bump, but I'm a bad artist, honestly. And I was, I'd already done like 13, I'd already done like 12 emotes by that point, and I was very bored of doing emotes by that point. <laughs> it's 
It's like on my dancing Bowser. I know how I know how to make the dancing Bowser not have a black background, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> there he is. If you're feeling drowsy, how about washing your face? It's okay. I'm awake. It's all working up it's all working up in the old noggin. I just can't keep up with this situation. My sense of smell is working just fine too. Where's Jimmy? I imagine he's asleep. I know he's gotta he's gotta he's gonna go watch the football later today, so he probably won't be around later today. But he's he's definitely asleep at the moment. You're off to bed? Alright, good night. Sleep well. It's good it's good to see you again as always. A pleasant scent wafts its way to me. It's coming from the miso soup that the military me cooked up. Is this seriously all you made? Rice and soup is plenty. Microphone. There we go. You're working. Awesome. S I can't believe it. Two interruptions in a row. What are the odds? What are the odds? All right. There we go. You gotta be kidding me! No way. It's all working up in the old noggin, but I still can't follow their conversation. I, this is what I saw. I saw this in the trailer for the game. I saw multiple Suzuhas and I completely forgot about it. Suzuha, don't tell me you agree with her. The military me refers to me as Suzuha. I'm tempted to ask who she is if I'm Suzuha, but I hold my tongue. I think it's plenty fine. A feast, even. A feast? How? You two are nuts! You don't have to eat it if you don't like it. Why do you have to be like that? All I said was that it's not enough. I didn't say I wasn't going to eat. You're pretty spoiled, aren't you? I've got no complaints. Mind if I dig in? Be my guest. Cheers! The military me skillfully scoops and serves me some miso soup. It looks hot. I take a sip. Ah, this is good. One sip is all I need to appreciate the flavour. It's nothing extravagant, but the dashi balance is perfect. Okobe Rinchiro and the others once brought me to a gyudon place before, but this might actually be better than the soup I had there. I'm glad you like it. I figured that my own taste would be fine, but I couldn't be sure until you tried it. We might have the same taste in food. Just because we look the same doesn't mean our tastes will line up perfectly. That sort of thing depends on what one grew up eating. And your taste buds, your genetics. Well, I guess they have the same genetics, but yeah. Still, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference between the three of us. Well, I guess it tastes good. Despite our complaints, the maid me nods in agreement after taking a sip of the soup. <clears throat> Said the same girl who was just complaining. I'm not complaining now, am I? Considering this miso soup is totally real, it's probably safe to say that these two aren't just figments of my imagination. Granted, there's also the possibility that the miso soup isn't even real. But for now, let's just assume that these two really are here. In that case, I need to figure out just what the heck is going on. <clears throat> um, so... What should I call you two? 
You wanna know my name? I'm Ani Suzaha. Just call me Suzaha. Looks like the Mamie doesn't quite understand what I'm getting at. I'm already assuming that all three of us are named Suzaha. I'm also a Mani Suzaha. So are you, yeah? The military me glances over at me. So we're all Suzaha. This is gonna make things real confusing real fast. Mm, that's a good point. Not at all, it's pretty axiomatic actually. Axio what? It means something obvious or without needing to be said. Well, I didn't think it was obvious. I can tell. Do either of you have any good ideas about how to sort the situation out? Hmm. I personally think you should be Suzaha. Me? How come? Because you're the original one, man, I Suzaha of this world line. Gotcha, simple enough. Though to be honest, it's unclear if I'm really the original Amani Suzaha of this world line. In fact, it's impossible to prove. My memories from yesterday are consistent though, which means there's a decent chance that I'm who she says I am. Just to test that theory, I pulled the divergence meter out from inside the tent. Should be, yep, 0 0.3. This is my world line. It's 0 0.337337%. Is this the same value as yesterday? My gut tells me that it is, but I can't be sure. I was told to not carry this on me, so... Only Okabe Rintaro created this handy little device can perceive changes in the value anyway. And does that mean I'm not Suzuha? But I totally am! I don't get it. The other versions of me carry on the conversation as I glance down at the meter. The both of us are strangers here. But I'm still me! I'm Suzuha! Look, I don't doubt that you're Amani Suzuha in some other world line. We're just talking about designations for each other while we're here. Designations? What's that? It's like a type of name. Hmm, I don't really get it. Is it like how in games monsters will call in help? Would that make a Suzuha 1, Suzuha 2, and Suzuha 3 then? What are you even talking about? What the fuck's a game? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? Alright, settle down. Suzaha, I want to know the diversion's value for this place. I lift the meter and show it to her. Whoa, what is that? It's called a divergence meter. I guess the maid me has never seen this before. But the military me seems to be familiar with it. Effectively, 0%. I wonder what it was for our world lines. We can't actually perceive changes in value. Were you never told that? Alright, let's just designate this place as world line alpha. In other words, you're the Amani Suzuha of world line alpha. Alright, this is alpha. Okay. So Mayuri dies in alpha. I always gotta remember that because I always forget which one. The military me points at me. From now on, as a stopgap measure, I'm Beta and we'll designate her as Gamma. Ha, <laughs> 3% is Gamma, imagine. I assume she's from these. Could be from. She could be from Steins Gate. Don't really remember. This in Steins Actually, no, in Steins Gate, she. I can't remember her in Steins Gate. But she did come back in Steins Gate and was a bit of a bitch to Kurosu still. <laughs> What's a stopgap? It means quick and easy. So she's Alpha, you're Beta, and I'm Gamma? It feels like I'm lost. That doesn't seem right. They're just code names. There's no meaning to the order. Which means I'm free to change it then, right? Sure. Then I'm Suzuha. Just plain old Suzuha. Not happening. Why? Because her designation is Amani Suzuha. I'm guessing she means me. But I don't get why she gets to be Suzuha, and I don't. This is going nowhere. I'm gonna have to suggest a compromise. In that case, I'll just go by Alpha. I'm Alpha, you're Beta, the maid is Suzuha. There, now we should all know who we're talking to. No, you have to be Amane Suzuha. 
But I want to be Suzuha. I don't mind being Alpha. Sorry, but no. Hmm. Looks like the military me isn't going to budge. So now we're just glaring at each other while we try to figure out a solution. If you don't like Gamma, how about Omega? Omega? Alpha is the first letter, while Omega is the last. Omega. That sounds pretty cool, but I still prefer Suzuha. Their argument continues like this for a while. Though to be honest, I couldn't get less at this point. <laughs> we could probably just get by calling each other Suzuha or you. But Beta is now fixated on calling the other one Omega and she's fixated on being called Suzuha. In the end, the military uniform me proves to be the more adult of the two. How about this? You're Alpha. Beta looks at me and says this. I'm Beta. Beta turns to the maid me. And you're Suzuha. However, in my mind, I'll still be thinking of you as Omega. Is that okay? No objections here. I don't get what you mean, but sure. The long and ultimately pointless conversation finally comes to an end. Who knew figuring out names would be so stressful? Having a conversation with yourself is pretty exhausting. The two of them look exactly like me, but they're surprisingly different on the inside. I suppose just figuring out that alone made the morning worthwhile. Additionally, I've also discovered that nobody else can see these two. Well, that sounds incredibly schizo. Oh my god! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, at least Okabe thought that other people could see my area. You, like, you, you just self-diagnosed yourself with schizophrenia. <laughs> Interesting. Thanks, Dad. I'm able to comfortably go to work with the two of them tagging along. Nothing quite like avoiding the boss man's rage. And it's also nice to have some company. Even though there are no customers, I don't have to sit around bored. What sort of store is this? The maid me, I also decided to call her Omega in my mind, is restless. Her constant wandering to and fro is starting to make me feel tired. Seems like it deals in selling older model televisions. On the other hand, the military me is standing at attention while surveying the lay of the land. Televisions? There are TVs? The TVs of this time period sure are bulky. As far as I can tell, they're old even for this era. So why are they selling them? Probably nostalgic value, you know, retro stuff, like that jersey Suzuha's is wearing. <coughs> what? I'm not wearing a jersey. I mean Suzuha Alpha. Oh, that's Suzuha. <laughs> Damn, my taste tone is insane. Lucas tasting me. No problem. <laughs> Got love. I love my curry. Top three, damn. Oh no, better than your mom's. That's crazy. I can't even read my own fucking text. Can I look at it in my outbox? It's like, oh, there we go. My congratulating food is so common in this area that I'm going to end up losing control and getting fat from overeating. <laughs> it just cuts off anyway. Might be humanity's true enemy. This is really confusing. I was playing you last time. Sorry, boss man. I would know. Only for part of the night. After that, I ducked out and went to Arati Khan and I used to discover that my time machine was broken. There's a bigger problem than that. Hey boss man, have you ever seen like multiple versions of yourself before? What kind of a question is that? 
I doubt you believe me, but I can see them right now. I assume you get mad at me for screwing around, but the boss man takes my statement surprisingly seriously. <laughs> He's just, like, I'm s clearly schizophrenic. Ghosting effect. Huh? You're talking about TVs? <coughs> Good point. I wonder as I look across the interior of this door, feeling I have little choice but to agree. So what's the ghosting effect? I have no idea what he's on about, I can't lie. Can't say I have. A ghosting effect. Put that way, my situation certainly sounds similar. Ultimately, what's happening to me in reality isn't going to be one to one with a TV related phenomenon, but I'm not going to sweat the details. Does that mean Beta and Omega are possible versions of me in different world lines? Like different versions of me are suddenly overlapping? Which led to the front and rear ghosts appearing. If that's true and I'm Alpha, Omega and Beta, might not be bad designations for the others. Right, that, I can't read English. Omega, the maid me, is the front ghost. Beta, the military me, is the rear ghost. Despite how crazy this all is, giving them those names makes it an easier pill to swallow. Not <coughs> <coughs> lemon in my throat. I think the whole minutes and parts are going to end up being really nervous next time I see you. Cooking is a hobby of mine, so I think I'm listening to this thing maybe just for the joy. Yay! Man, Luke is just awesome. Luke, Luke, Luke is a great, great fella. It's past noon. Okabe Rintaro suddenly swings by. Okabe Rintaro appears to be trying to act calm, but I can tell that something's off. Yo! I reply to him like usual. What?! Never. Not like there are any customers. But there are two other versions of me. Is this white lab coat guy on Colloquary? I'd assume so. I guess they both know him. And from what I can tell, Okabe Rintaro can't see either of them, so I act normally. Plus, after all that partying last night, I'm pretty dang sleepy. Oh shit, we in a different world line? Okabe Rintaro is acting odd. Oh wait, no, it's just he's been fucking time traveling left, right, and center. Um, <laughs> our conversation isn't lining up. Were you drinking last night, Okabe Rintaro? Are you fucking shit faced? You should lay off the booze, you're still underage. <laughs> yep, that's right. You said something similar yesterday too. I really appreciated that. Wait, were you seriously drinking? Um, I tried to head home from the time machine offline meet and... Yeah. That's what I told you yesterday. I know I told him that. I should have. There really is something weird about Akabe Rintaro today. You, Hashi Rintaro, and Shinomayuri popped up. And that's when you guys dragged me off to the lab. The end. After that is when I slipped out midway through the party, but I leave that bit out. I had my reason to leave, and that's not of Okabe Rintaro's business. Yesterday was pretty fun. <coughs> There would have been even more fun if Maxi Kurosu wasn't there. I'm pretty sure that apple pie of hers could be used as a murder weapon. But Urushibara Lucas Curry was sublime! 
That lab of yours is kind of like a club, yeah? I'm jealous. Everyone gets along really well, and it always seems like you guys are having a good time. That might have been the most comfortable I've ever felt in my entire life. I'm totally honest about how I feel. I could never even hope for that kind of environment in the era I was born. It's not like I didn't have friends, but they were more like comrades in the resistance. People to fight alongside, brothers and sisters in arms. Didn't I tell you? I don't even know my dad's email address. Whoa. I see. A lab man? Are you sure it's okay for me to join your lab? See, because this is another, like, 0 0.31, I reckon this will be, like, a storyline I have myself that ties back into, like, the original, like, uh, Kurisus did. 008. I really think Suza should have been 007, because, you know, like, the James Bond, and she's a lot more like Bond than Ferris. Ferris is nothing like Bond. I, just go, I, think, I feel like Suza should have been 007, but, you know, it is what it is. Still crouched down, I look at the floor after hearing Okabe Rintaro's words. I'm so happy that I can barely move. I can feel my nose starting to get runny. I feel like crying. So before I look up, I quickly sniffle. I can tell I'm smiling. Fine, I guess I have no choice. I'll be your test subject. Nope, I'm gonna keep looking for my dad. I hesitate for a moment. I then stand up and look Okabe Rintuwa in the eyes. My dad goes by the name of Tita. I'm fully aware that this statement comes with the danger of Okabe Rintuwa discovering my true identity. But I said it because he called me one of them, part of their group. I expected Okabe Rintuwa's reaction. I can't speak today. You know him? He might actually be using a different code name right now, but... Okabe Rintaro worships... Oh, <laughs> worships... Whips out his cell phone and shows it to me. I stare at the screen. <laughs> no, not quite. Oh, ha. Huh. Look at that. Unfortunately, this isn't the info I'm looking for. All it takes is a single glance at the screen to realize that. I recognize the text quite well. Well, this isn't him. I just know, okay? This teeter isn't my dad. I can tell Okabe. I can't tell Okabe Rinter or why, but I know this for a fact. Because the John Teeter on that channel is none other than, uh, none other than me. There's no John. The name that my dad used is... I can't tell him, so I give Okabe Rintour different information. Bad little Taita. After pouring cold water over his excitement, he glumly returns to the second floor. You should have just told Uncle Okarine what's up. Why do you and Omega both call Okabe Rintour or Uncle Okarine? I'm not Omega, I'm Suzuha! Looks like Omega doesn't intend to budge an inch over that. Uncle Ocarine's Uncle Ocarine. Yep, he's just plain old Uncle Ocarine. Except he's Okabe Rintaro. I guess this is the result of growing up in different environments. In their world lines, it's entirely possible that Okabe Rintaro didn't die in 2025, and in fact lived on well past that. So, is this a problem that can be fixed if we told him everything? I can't say for sure, but... If nothing else, he thinks of you as an ally, or am I misunderstanding something? You're not. But it's because we're allies that there's things I can't tell him. As John Teeter, I exchange multiple messages with Okabe Rintaro. I've even talked with him on that channel. But I've always hidden from him in the fact that I'm actually John Teeter. I couldn't even tell him just a few minutes ago. It's not good to intervene in the past too much. I 
change the world line just by being here in 2010. But also, beyond that, I'm afraid that Okabe Rintaro and the others wouldn't look at me the same way if they ever did find out. I'm afraid that he'll see me differently. That's why I didn't tell Okabe Rintaro the truth. Maybe the most ironic part of it all is that I didn't have to do anything for him to start seeing me differently. What's up, Okabe Rintaro? I barely even recognized him when he showed up at work. <coughs> I look like an entirely different person. My hand? What are you talking about? Are you drunk again? He was a little strange yesterday, but today is a thousand times worse. I can't help but assume he's drunk or something. <laughs> I'm fine. I have no idea what he's talking about, but Okabe Rintaro is very clearly taking whatever it is very seriously. I decide to answer him properly, bring my hands up to my chest, and turn them front to back so he can see. Everything okay? You seem kind of down in the dumps. I ask out of concern, but it seems to go in one ear and out the other. What? <laughs> you are... <laughs> I'm sorry? What's wrong? What do you mean? Okabe Rintaro looks me in the eyes for the first time. I meet his gaze of my own, but all I can see behind his eyes is a dull light. Something I haven't seen since coming to this era. It's the same look my friends in the Resistance had. The deep sorrow of losing the people closest to you. The despair of losing them because of your own powerlessness. Losing one or two people wouldn't be enough to fall this far. It's the look of someone whose heart has been crushed over and over, and yet each time they stood back up again, they lost more. It's the rage you feel towards yourself. I can hardly believe this is the same Okabe Rintaro as yesterday. He's nothing like the man who excitedly announced that my dad was John Tita, then sulked off after discovering he was wrong. My time machine? Wait, mine? His words finally dispel my doubt. There's no way he'd say or know something like that after yesterday. Which means the Okabe Rintaro before my eyes right now isn't the same as the one from yesterday. Who knows how much time he must have spent between yesterday and today. I know that sounds like a contradiction, but that's how it is. He must have made it possible through some means or another. But what? There aren't many options. It has to be a time machine. Just like how Amani Suzuha is John Tita from the future, he too must have become a time traveller. Using a machine separate from my own. When did, when did you come from? But that doesn't explain everything. True, he's a different person inside, but appearance-wise he looks the same as yesterday. I have no idea how much despair he went through to reach today. Considering how peaceful this era is, I doubt there's much that could grind his soul down to its very core over and over again. These kinds of wounds usually take years to form, even in my era. The fact that he hasn't aged at all despite how much he's changed internally strikes me as oddly paradoxical. Cool. Two days? Now I know the reason why he hasn't aged at all. If he's only from two days in the future, of course he wouldn't have. This makes how much he changed inside even more bizarre. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice art. Sign two theta D. I always forget which that one is. These are these equations. A queer into a story far exceeds anything I could ever have imagined. According to him, by using the time leap machine, one is able to recall memories from two days in the future. It's not a physical leap through time. It's a way of awakening future memories. But regardless of how it works, it's undeniably a form of time travel. I'm a time traveler too. That by itself is no surprise. But what truly exceeds my imagination, and perhaps this isn't the right word to describe it, is why I could be written to a return to today of all days. Shina Mayuri was killed? Okabe Rintaro chokes on the words, but manages to get them out. 
Yeah, fuck son. <clears throat> Okabe Rintaro then went on to explore many possible futures, over and over again, searching for a future in which Shina Mayuri could be saved. <clears throat> well, she died every single time without fail. Avoiding such a future proved to be impossible. It happens, it happens. A world line convergence. I guess you'd have to, or you wouldn't be talking about how my time machine is broken. I already knew. I was pondering whether to discuss it with you or not yesterday. If anyone in this time period could fix it, it would be you guys. About that, Alpha. I could bear into a story it was so shocking that I'd totally forgotten about my other problem. The two different versions of me. What? I've undergone basic training on time machines, naturally, that includes maintenance. I have a much higher chance of fixing it than the people in this era. What? Why didn't you tell me something that important sooner? I raised my voice in shock, prompting Okabe Rintaro to give me a puzzled look. I don't blame him. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, I'm breaking everything. Nobody seeing me talk like this would have a clue what's going on. Am I gonna have to explain this again? Right now, I can see two other versions of me. One just said that she can fix the time machine. I figured. Just hang on, I'm gonna ask her for more details. Anyway. I turned to Beta. Can you really fix it? Are you aware of the current situation? The VGL was unstable, so while it was supposed to materialize on the roof of Radikan, it stood a little off course and ended up embedded in the wall. Hence the change in, or hence the damage in various places, which would explain why it broke down in the rain. <laughs> Damn, inferior. Dad made mine too, it's just incomplete. Fuck, I forgot to read. Regardless, if it malfunctioned due to the rain, it shouldn't be that busted, at least I hope not. That said, if the VGL is toast, we're out of luck. That thing is like a black box. I have no idea how it works. Is there a difference between it being unstable and broken? If the instability was only enough to shift it from the roof to inside of the wall in the same building, that's still within the range of error. <coughs> if it's actually broken, it'll be impossible to repair. You won't be able to go to the past or the future. The future? Yes. To the future. What about it? Beta's words just keep surprising me. I guess the time machine in her world line are far superior to mine. Heck, they can even jump to the future. My time machine can only take a one-way trip to the past. Either way, I'll have to take a look at it first. Roger that. Okabe Rintaro. It sounds like my time machine can be fixed. I'm hopeful. However... He doesn't look very happy. His expression serves as a reminder of how many times he must have looped back in time in order to reach now. I guess, well, it would have been nice if I got to meet my dad, but beggars can't be choosers. Your dad? What about him? No, it's nothing. I should hurry to the time machine. So, can you fix it? It's been about 10 minutes since Beta entered the time machine cockpit. I start to get impatient. It would appear to be fundamentally th the same, but it's also quite a bit older than the ones I'm familiar with. 
A prototype, perhaps. In other words, it'll take about half a day to fix it. <sighs> That's a relief. I fall to the floor, all the strength in my body having drained out. Bella comes over to me and extends her hand. You okay? By the time I grab Bella's hand, my strength is back and I quickly stand back up. I just felt super relieved. Wait, so I can hold Beta's hand? It just dawned on me, she really isn't a hallucination. If you wanted to repair that badly, you should have just asked. I didn't ask? I didn't realize that I'd have to actually say it. I guess Beta's time machine is just that different from mine. You said that you were shocked that it was broken, but you never said anything about fixing it. I didn't? Besides, I had no idea why you came to this time period. At least, not until I heard you talking to Uncle Okarine. Does that mean my situation is a lot different from yours? Correct. Though I probably shouldn't go into detail. Why not? There are some things that I don't want Uncle Okarine to know. You must be talking about reading Steiner. Okabe Rintua is a special power. The unique ability to move between world lines, yet still retain his memories despite the past being changed. <coughs> to most people, knowing about other world lines has no meaning. They end up forgetting all about it anyway. But Okabe Rintaro is different. If there's something he shouldn't know about in Beta's world line, it's entirely likely that it's something he shouldn't know in this one too. It's not necessarily something unique to Beta's world line, after all. That ability is part of it, yes, but Uncle Ocarina is also a person of importance in my world. Huh? Seems like we can. Oh, my Yuri came with. Speak to the devil and he shall appear. Okabe Rintaro walks over. Sheena Mayuri is with him. She says it'll take about half a day. Hopefully. This means that Dad's plan is right back on track. I'm a few days later than I planned, but nothing I can't make up. It's not a pointless question. You probably shouldn't have mentioned that. Lazy ass man. You know, sometimes I wonder, what exactly do you do at the Future Gadget Laborati Laboratory Okabe Rintour? <laughs> An idea man! <laughs> so you don't actually do that much work. Shina Mayuri brings up the one thing I was trying my best to forget. I can feel the strength drain from my body again. My dad doesn't matter. <laughs> to be fair, you did. I promise. It's true Okabe Rinch from the others said that during the disappointment party the other day, keeping me from leaving. Sheena Mayuri, you're so sweet. And just like that, I'm on the verge of tears. You're 100% right. I thought I'd be able to meet him if I came here. I know my dad was in Akihabara in 2010. Yeah, really. How rude. I bet he's still really young and handsome too. <coughs> Correct. Oh, 
No, he should be Japanese. Barrel Teacher is the code name he used in the Resistance. I doubt he's using that name in 2010. Unfortunately, I don't know his real name. Even though I'm supposed to be his daughter, I do my best to force a smile all the while fighting back tears. <coughs> I can't even imagine how I must look right now. He never told me, and he died before I could ask. No, it's my mum's family name. And just then, the door swings open to reveal a familiar large man drenched in sweat. <laughs> wine, wine, wine. Yap, yap, yap. <laughs> While Okabe Rintaro and Hashidera Taru put on something of a comedy act, there's suddenly a shout of surprise that only I can hear. <gasps> wow, it's Dad! And he's so young! What? I can't believe what I just heard from Omega. Granted, I'm still suspicious as to whether Omega is actually a real person that can be heard to begin with, but let's ignore that for now. Dad? Did you just say dad? Yup, that's my dad right there. Suzuha Omega says this and points directly at Hashidori Taru. I rub my eyes several times, but it really is Hashidori Taru. Seriously? This! Walrus of a man surely cannot be my father! <laughs> Just give me a sec. I'm on the other end of a most shocking confession of my entire life, and I have no idea what to do with myself. Huh? My dad's right there. But maybe you have a different dad, Alpha. Ashidura Tara is my dad in my world line too. And it must be the same here. I'd spent so much time searching for dad, but he was right here the whole time. Which explains why I didn't see him at the time machine offline meet. Ah, no, it's nothing. I'm honestly glad that Hashidira Taro is so worried about me. He's the reason I'm bright red. Ugh, mixed feelings. <laughs> Just fix the time machine. Come on. Oh, quick oh, 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 oh. The me from one of the other world lines knows all the technical details. All you have to do is help. Hashtag Taru doubts my words for a moment, but Ben has already started doing checks on the time machine. As a result, parts of it are opening and making noises seemingly by itself. The other me is just doing a few checks, no worries. <laughs> Lazy motherfucker! Teamwork, Daru, teamwork! Bro, you're so lazy! She's checking right now. I call out to beta inside the time machine. What's the deal? The lining burned the outer circuits in three locations. What parts do you need? I'll jot them down, so give me something to write with. Beta takes the paper from me and quickly writes the parts down. I hand the note to Hashidira Taro. This is what we need. Think you can find them in this era? Hmm. 
ってるのばっかだしこの部品のチョイスこれ作ってるのは<笑> I can't help but awkwardly laugh. If Hashi Otara really is my dad, it's not even remotely surprising that he built this thing using his favorite parts. Suzuha. Suzuha. I mean, Alpha. Just as I'm thinking this, better calls out my name. As long as I have the parts, I can do the repairs on my own. You can spend time with the others if you want. I can't just force you to do all the work. This isn't the sort of task that requires multiple people. I guess, but still. Also, I'm saying this because Dad can't hear me, but... This time machine only has the ability to travel into the past. I can't bring myself to respond, but I'm sure Beta takes that as my reply. Which means you don't have much time left here. Knowing that, there's no way I can tell you to waste your remaining hours here working on this thing. Yeah. Go be with your dad and the others. I wasn't planning on saying anything if she never caught on. But Beta knows more about the time machine than anyone else here. Of course she'd figure it out. Also, if Omega, uh, Suzuha here, she'll get in the way of my work. Beta's trying her best to act cheerful. Although she ends up playfully jabbing Omega instead. What's that supposed to mean? Why me? Alpha's no different. Are we really the same? Yeah, I guess we are. Anyway, I decided to take Beta up on her offer. <coughs> I finally found my dad, but now I don't even know what to say. The two of us both end up heading out to buy the replacement parts. Well, I guess since Omega's here, it's the three of us. Sorry about all this, Hashidor Taro. You know, tagging along and everything. <laughs> Hashidor Taro is always just the guy sitting in the lab chair to me, constantly filling with his computer. But seeing him outdoors is enough to make me feel strange. Dad, clothes are kind of lame, but he's... Oh, Dad's clothes are kind of lame, but he's also sort of cool. What? Really? I didn't think much of him when he was chatting with Uncle Ocarina earlier. But now he seems so alive, even though he's fat. <laughs> You're right. He must be pretty used to buying things at part shops. He doesn't need to pause whatsoever. He just goes for exactly what he needs with extreme precision. I guess you could call that cool. Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. I guess. A maid that's pretty strict about fashion, apparently. <laughs> of course. She's actually pretty fond of you. Not even close. Yellow yeah, doesn't suit your physique whatsoever. I got mail from Mayuri. The flyers. <laughs> but we found that. It's not the outside that makes the man. Uh, I don't think so. I, I think so? Already? <laughs> Damn the staircase, the final boss. I can bring it up there for you. I know climbing stairs is pretty tough for someone as out of shape as you are. Uh, 
で戻ってだからアマネシはバイトに戻るなり父親探しを続けるなり<笑> I find myself at a loss for words when Hashtag Atari mentions my dad. About that, I need to apologize to Shin Shinamayuri and Okabe Rintaro. Because I actually found dad. You know how I told you about the ghosts that versions of me from different worlds, right? Well, it looks like my dad's alive and well in those different worlds, so the ghosts know his name and face. Okay. My dad's name is Hashidori Taru. <laughs> I feel like I hear that name a lot! <laughs> Wait a second! Isn't that me?! <laughs> That's like a 10 out of 10 reaction. Yep, apparently. <laughs> the face! <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> oh my god. Hashira Taro is suddenly very confused. I don't blame him. I was shocked when I heard it from Omega, and I still can't fully believe it now. Um... I guess from your perspective, I'm your future daughter. He's so confused that he's just repeating what I said. Th that's right. He's not wrong, but it looks like Hashira Tara is not even sure what he just asked. He's talking without actually thinking. Yep. <laughs> you don't get it? Hashira Taro then goes completely silent. His facial expression is frozen. I have no idea what he's thinking right now. Would it have been better not to know? My anxiety causes me to blurt it out. I was as shocked as he is when I first found out. So I understand fully well that it's hard to find the right words. Are you upset that I'm your daughter? But even then, having him say nothing is just too scary. He's my dad, I finally get to see my dad. Though I guess he's not actually my dad yet. Anyway, I just realized I really want Hash to retire to say something. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't look all that happy. Then maybe it's the confusion taking over right now. Oh my god. That's a secret. Yeah, I think you can look forward to that. <laughs> he cares more about my mom than me. Unloved child. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Alright, be careful. I watch Hashida Ataru dad as he goes off into the distance. This bag has never looked larger to me than it does now. My dad left to get milk. Mail! From Daru. Hey, it's your papa. Oh god, I kinda... I, I wanna see what he says. He's gonna call me something ridiculous. Yoho! The moment I get back to work, I find myself on the other end of the boss man's rage. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Ah, well something I was worried about kind of got fixed. 
Huh? Oh, uh, not that one. I only Omega is with me right now. Vita is back at the time machine. Yeah. I figured the boss man was gonna be a lot angrier, but I guess he was actually pretty worried about me. I didn't think he'd still be thinking about the whole ghosting thing. Hey, boss man, why are you so worried about me? How come? I'm just some random part timer, right? I don't even know if you've ever had other part timers here. That's because I meet you in the past. Do I look like someone you know? Yeah, it's me from the future. What? Are you comparing me to some old lady? Then does that mean you're saying I'm a fine woman too? <laughs> Damn. You're a big jerk! Huh? I I guess you could say what goes around comes around. You've got a point. So what's her name? <laughs> Bro, it all comes full fucking circle. Yeah, that's what Shina Mayuri always calls me. Was that her surname? <laughs> I can't help but gasp. There's no way this is just a coincidence. I can tell that Omega feels the same way. She looks at me in shock. Could that be my grandma? I don't think so. I replied to Omega, but the boss man thinks it was directed towards him. Ah, I wasn't actually... But no, doesn't ring any bells. Hashidera and Suzu. Um, until yesterday, I wouldn't have even noticed. But now I know. Hashida Suzu is me. I ended up using the time machine to travel into the past and ultimately live in this world line. In other words, the time machine will be fixed. Hey, boss man. What's this Hashida Suzu sign up to nowadays? I ask out of curiosity. Well, this might be the story of the past for him, and this is my future. I should have never asked. Oof. I shouldn't know this. The boss man's brief answer makes it that much more powerful. She died? I see. If Hashida Suzu really was me after going back to 1975, I'd still only be a bit past 50 if I was still alive right now. There'd be nothing strange about being happy and healthy at that age. Which means the reason she's dead is... What did... I can't do it. I can't ask. I'm too scared to ask. That's probably... It's not just a similar bike, it's probably the exact same one. I stop myself before I vocalize any of this. I can't tell him the truth. I think you're right, boss man. I would have liked to meet her. Using a time machine to return to the past and meet yourself is extremely dangerous. I can never afford to risk it. But I still wish Hashida Suzu had lived into this era. This means that when I return to the past, I'll never see Okabe Rintaro again, or the others. The past has already been decided. Even if I try to change it, the world line conversions means it's impossible. In this world, Hashida Suzu will always already be dead. Yeah, what goes around comes around after all. I said this earlier without realizing it, but it's true. The boss man helped me and I, then I helped him after going into the past. A mysterious thread of fate that connects the two of us. 
You got it! He departs. I keep a lookout as told, but there are no customers. Same old, same old. I doubt anyone's gonna come by. I tried talking to Omega in order to fight off my boredom. Omega seems to like the store quite a bit. As usual, she's wandering around, poking and examining anything that catches her interest. Keeping watch means you gotta stay put, right? That's just part of the job. Well, sure, but... Omega's response is unexpectedly level-headed. <clears throat> in all honesty, considering how few customers this place gets, it's a minor miracle that it's still in business. Maybe the boss man is running some sort of side gig. What if he's actually super duper rich and this shop is just his hobby? Omet, Suzaha, have you ever worked before? I just can't get used to calling someone else by my own, my own name. Yup, just regular jobs. How do you define regular? You know, normal like at McDonald's. McDonald's? What are you talking about, the hamburger joint? You are welcoming people and taking orders? Mm-hmm. What's so strange about that? It's not strange, it's just... Even aside from a mega story, it feels really weird imagining someone with the same face as yourself talking about what they do. That was a choice that I'd never had in my life. The look, the look on your face screams strange. Omega shoots straight up, surprisingly. But that's not it. It's not about you. Honest. Then who is it about? It just felt weird imagining myself doing that kind of work. Judging by the expression Omega makes, she thinks I'm a weirdo. That's... yeah, you're right. You got a lot of nerve. Omega doesn't hide behind her words. She just says whatever comes to mind. I guess that's who Omega is. In the end, the Braun Tube Workshop closes up for the day without a single customer dropping by. Alright, boss man. Catch you tomorrow. I consider dropping my ruddy car to see Beta, but an unexpected person calls out to me. You. Fuck you, I hate you. Rawr. Evil. Makise Kurisu. I instinctively glare at her. In the future, she's the woman who builds a time machine for CERN. Put simply, she's the time machine mother who triggers our dystopia. I can't even count how many times me and my friends in the Resistance spoke about her. If only she'd never build that time machine. For what? Oh, yeah. Y yeah. The mention of dad is enough to calm my nerves. If she did that on purpose, then I'd make her quite the manipulator. Thanks. Maxi Kurisu takes a small cake out from the convenience store bag she's holding. It's poisoned! It's so poisoned! It's a single serving of strawberry shortcake. You're giving this to me? As long as you didn't bake it yourself. Her apple pie from the other day was so bad that it actually made me angry. <laughs> Imagine food tasting so bad that it just puts the emotion of rage in you. It's me. He's a lot thinner. Damn. Yeah, we, we gotta make fun of his weight. <laughs> just because it's like the entire joke of that is Daru in the future. Is that he's just thin. <laughs> I remember asking her if she was trying to kill us. Maxi Kurisu sulks a little, but she doesn't seem angry. This is all kind of weird. Why are you congratulating me? But I've only ever shown you hostility. <laughs> These are congratulations for actually having a decent dad. <laughs> you won the Good Dad Award. 
Makusei Kurus' dad. Trying to ride my happiness tail coats. Get the fuck off my tail coats. Please just punch. In that case, I'll gladly accept your peace offering. I take the cake from her hands. At this point, I'm no longer glaring at her. In fact, I'm smiling. I hope you're able to make up with your dad too. But now I find myself wondering why she's still holding the convenience store bag. I don't think she just went to buy me a cake. Are you staying overnight at the lab? Then can I stay over too? I promise I won't get in the way. Maxey Kurosu makes a strange face in response to my request. I don't blame her. Even I think it's kind of weird. I mean, it's not. I, I sleep in a fucking tent, I mean. But Maxey Kurosu doesn't say no. I can't put my finger on why, but maybe it has something to do with Dad. That night, Maxey Kurosu tells me all about her ambivalence towards time machines. Apparently, when she first came to the lab, she was hostile to the very idea of them. But here she is now, trying to create humanity's first time machine. Why don't you just tell her, hey, in the future, don't build the time machine. Cool? Cool. Maxei Kurosu continues her skillful work all the while speaking aloud. Yeah, I guess this time machines are still just fictional things in this era. So you're saying your dad wasn't a proper academic? Maxi Kurosu's hands stop in place and I immediately feel as though I've said something I shouldn't have. How so? I mean, you're not wrong, that is how science works. I would dare, like, if an element, if, like, a five-year-old came up and was just like, um, actually, uh, you're being an imbecile, I'd, I'd get pretty pissed too. And that's why I started looking into time machines. You sound a lot like your dad. Upon hearing my words, Max said Chris, you glares at me. A surprised look on her face. I said something I shouldn't have again. Well, I've never met him, but it sounds like you're both serious about your work and also really naive. Is that a negative word? I don't mean you're neurotic or anything, just sensitive, I guess. Regardless of the reason, you're both interested in time machines. I actually both find the idea of leaping across time adventurous. Yeah, Pirates of, on an Adventure with Scientists. What a banging film. Another film where the British are evil. <laughs> I personally think scientists are very adventurous. They seek truth that nobody's di discovered yet. What's that if not adventure? My dad in the future, the dad who entrusted the time machine to me, he was an adventurer too. That's what I believe. Maxei Kurosu appears to have calmed down a bit. The evidence being that she's resumed her work. Once again, I'm struck by how similar to her dad she seems. Always trying to be correct hurts the people around you. That might not be a good thing, but I think it's probably an unavoidable part of who she is. Still, I'm surprised your dad's researching time machines. Nope, the opposite. I feel kind of kinship with you. I'm not lying. My father's so immersed in time machine research that he distanced himself from his daughter. 
That's the story of my life too. Yep, kinship. We, b we both lead lives held prisoner by time machines. Our fathers are the source of that. You know, the two of us might be more similar than I thought. That's the highest praise I can give to any to someone who, up until now, I had viewed as a sworn enemy. Maxi Kuro's expression is anything but happy. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> That's definitely not what I expected her to say. No, no way. You're not my mom. Her son name is Amane. I don't think I've ever seen Maxi Kuro. She looks so relieved. Is she happy that she's not my mom? Jeez, that seems kind of rude. <laughs> Fuck you too. Speaking of moms, in fact, it's so rude that some of my hostility was Magnetic Sekiro who bubbles to the surface again. In the future, where I'm from, you're referred to as the Time Machine Mother. If only that was the only reason. The Time Machine tech that you and the others create eventually gets monopolized by CERN. As a result, the world becomes a dystopia with no conflict. In my future, every facet of human life is strictly controlled and monitored. Every conflict is prevented before it happens by using the time machine. And you're the one that built it, Maxei Kurisu. You're unexpectedly calm about this. あなたにとっては過去の話でも私にとってはまだやってないことでしょ。でもリアリティはあるわね。実際私はこうしてタイムマシンを作ってるんだし、セルンどこは私にはまだピンときてないけど、彼らが人体実験までしているのは知ってる
like crossing the attractive field and moving to a world line that contains other possibilities. But in order to do that, a time machine and the IBM 5100 are both necessary to make it happen. This process requires a time machine that can go back years, not just several days. Makase Kurosu wanted to save Shinomairi no matter what, no matter the cost. That's why she chose to become the enemy of the entire world. Makase Kurosu chose Shinomairi over her own beliefs, over everyone and everything. That's right, everything she did, she did to save a single person, Shinomairi. She's not even that close to Mairi, is she? I mean... And their friends, what a shame she died. Even if it meant having to live apart from her closest friends and allies, she tried to save that one young girl alone. It's entirely possible that Maxei Kurosu, Okabe Rintaro, and my dad, they're all aiming for the same thing. So that's how it is. Yeah, but I can't tell you now. Not well, just because it's about the future, it's because Okabe Rintaro hasn't told her yet. You should be the one to tell her about Shinomayuri's death. <laughs> Maxei Kurosu backs down with that argument. Though I suppose you look, if you look at it another way, that's probably because she's convinced that she'd never give in to Sun's threats. You're pretty amazing, Maxei Kurosu. I'd never be able to do what you did. I'm so sorry for assuming you as some evil villain, for always glaring at you. Would I have the determination and willpower to go that far? I got to where I am now because I believed I'd be changing the world for the better. I travelled to the past thinking that it was for the sake of my world. For Maxe Kurosu is different. For the sake of one girl, for Shina Mayuri, she became the enemy of the world and the future itself. Which directly led to my hatred toward her. I even tried to assassinate her. But I want to. I can't deny that, but... Well, sure. But even I can tell that Maxei Kurosu is the kind of person who would deeply regret her actions if they ever led to the death of someone she cared about. Yeah, Dara man should do it otherwise, you know, I'm just saying. She's also good humored enough to laugh at herself. I think that's about enough of this dark topic. Instead, I listen to her with a smile. That's right. But I still think this is the right way of looking at it. You're a good person, Maxi Kurosu. Seemingly embarrassed, she averts her eyes. After finally getting to know her, I can't help but think that it's a fitting reaction. Not a fan? I mean, you'd have thought, though, in 2025, when Okabe dies, you know, she didn't, you know, considering she cares about Okabe more than Mayuri, that, you know, she'd actually, you know, you know try and stop his death, you know, more than Ooh, we're fading. The two of us continue to chat the night away until we fall asleep. If you'd asked me if I ever thought this could happen prior to my coming to this era, I would have called you crazy. I was crazy once. A casual chat with Maxe Kurosu, of all people. When I wake up in the morning... <laughs> I just, there's so many song lyrics, I, I can't. <laughs> when I wake up... <laughs> I have a message waiting for me from Hashira Taro. Actually, it's from Beta. Apparently, the repairs are going well and should be finished sometime this morning. After I part with Maxe Kurosu with the lab, I head to Radikan. Yoho! Sorry, but keep it down. I get scolded right off the bat. I didn't think I was being all that loud. Then I get the hint once I look at where Beta is pointing. Poor Doro. Sleepy. Dad's still asleep. There are papers scattered all around him. Given that there's writing all over them, they're neither trash or some sort of makeshift blanket. It's not exactly cold out either. Dad went to sleep at around dawn. 
I see. So he was doing repairs the whole time? Well, not quite. Huh? The repairs themselves didn't take too long, but Dad wanted to know all sorts of things about the time machine. So I answered all these questions by writing on the paper you see there. That explains the mess around him. Anyway, Alpha. What's up? The other me is something of a gloomy expression on her face. There's something I need to apologize to you about. Apologize? Did the repairs go south? No, the time machine should be fine. Although it doesn't have the spare energy for an operation check, so I can't say for sure. Then why the apology? Dad figured out it's secret. Secret? To someone in this era, everything concerning the time machine could be considered a secret. But considering the look on B's face, oh, B? Beta's face, I get the feeling that he figured out the one thing I wanted to keep him from finding out. So this time machine can only go to the past. Oh. He promised he wouldn't tell the others, but... Yeah. But the one person I didn't want to find out was Dad. I guess there's no point in that, huh? Yeah. I suppose the silver lining is that the others don't know. But that doesn't change the fact that he knows. Him of all people. Ah, shit! Looks like we don't have time to discuss this any further. Dad wakes up at the sound of my voice. Huh? Did you just call me? Dad slowly raises his giant body from the floor. That's... yeah, I guess. Papa? Um, that's a little embarrassing. Mind if I call you Dad instead? Anyway, sorry for waking you up after you only just got to sleep, Dad. I heard you worked through most of the night. That's not true, the other me said you helped out a bunch, right? That's right, mind telling him for me? She says that's right. That's not your fault. You might have built this thing, but that's way in the future. What's up? From the future, the year 2036. Huh? What do you mean? Paradox. You're right. It seems like a closed loop. Simply using a time machine shouldn't cause viable changes to a world line. In other words, Dad originally repaired the time machine at this point in 2010. And by doing so, he was able to see how the machine worked, helping him to complete his prototype in 2036. And considering how visibly I've been operating, not to mention the spot where the time machine materialized, it's possible the world line has been shifted. My dad and I can't perceive that shift, though. I have no clue. You never said anything about that to me. Yeah, you were in hiding from Sun. Hence why I didn't recognize him. If it weren't for my two ghosts, I would never have realized he was right there in front of me the whole time. Don't apologize. I never resented for how things went down, Dad. Hell, if anything, I respected you. You left us with hope, the ability to change the world. I'm proud of that. 
is my honest feelings. It's not like I didn't wish I had a kind dad or anything. That was never realistic in the world I'm from. So don't apologize, Dad. He made the right choice. If he hadn't distanced himself from me, he would have eventually been found by Sun, and any chance we had to change the past would have been lost forever. Dad did what he should have done. He did what had to be done. That's why I've always thought of my dad as a, strain, as a stronger, more rational person. A great man who threw away his own life in order to change the future. But the dad in front of me right now is different. He's overflowing with empathy. He's imagining the things he did in the future and apologizing for them. That's the sort of kind-hearted person he is. This is the same man who had no choice but to throw himself deep in his, into his time machine research, leaving my mum and I behind. If anything, that's what I'm most sad about. More than my never getting to meet him. He's the one who never got to see his own daughter. I can't imagine how that must have felt. I've never once resented you for what you did, Dad. There's no lie in that statement. That's why I don't want to see him look so sad. Hey, Dad. I have a favor to ask. I want you to show me around Akihabara. Going to walk around Akihabara with Dad, the place that he loved so much. It might not seem all that crazy to him, but it's more than I could ever ask for. Though I'm sure he'd be saddened to hear that. Which is why I act like it's no big deal. Yeah, that's all I want. Dad finally smiles for me. He might have noticed me trying to hold back, but he smiles nonetheless. That's the kind of guy he is. You don't have to rush or anything. Sounds like you didn't sleep much. Alright, then we can go out after you freshen up and take a break. What's up? No, no! He has a deathly serious look on his face. A shower with you? No, I don't mind. I haven't had a shower in a while either. What is happening? I've been fine using the water in the park to keep clean, but I'd be lying if I said the idea of a proper shower didn't sound appealing. Please no, please not let's have this. Let's not. No, 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 no. You know what, I'm fine. I'll wait till after you take yours. I decided to let me go first since the lab's shower isn't exactly big. Well, there's more than enough space for two girls to get in together. It's way too narrow for both me and Dad. I think it'd be too difficult to wash it off with both of us in there, but Dad doesn't seem to feel that way. Oh no, no, I don't, I don't like this. Please, 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 no, no, no. What? What? Oh, only in Japan. What's a Nakazuri? Mm, I don't know. Inside of trains? His explanation does little to clear my confusion. I ride my bike everywhere, so I don't know much about the insides of trains. I remember riding one with Mom when I was really little, but the details are hazy. Alrighty. It might be a little cramped, though. Please, no. No, this is so wrong. No, 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 no. I used to be more rude not to join him. No, 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 no. I begin to undress. Hello. Oh god. <laughs> Kurosu, save me. Maxe Kurosu strolls into the lab just as I'm removing my top. She gives me a strange look the moment our eyes meet. Um, I was thinking of taking a shower with Dad. Come on, American blood. Your American blood surely can save me here. You've spent enough time in America to know that this is not correct. Should I have asked for permission first? Kurosu, save me. Yes! She clocks it! Thank God! Yep. He got really sweaty while facing the time machine, so... I figured I'd wash his back for him. 
Thank you. I'm so glad she turned off. <laughs> that did. <laughs> Your daughter as well. It's so wrong. Like say Kurosu mutters to herself, she storms off toward the shower room. Uh, much better. She seems really, really angry. <laughs> Saving my butt, that's what she's done. What are you so angry about, Maxi Kurosu? <laughs> if me not knowing is the problem, shouldn't you be yelling at me instead? What's wrong with showering together? I mean, you know, you, you know, you, you bathe, you bathe with your kids until they can bathe themselves. Like the only reason a parent should bathe with their child is because they're really young and can't bathe themselves. You, you gotta, you just gotta teach them it quick and you know, get out of there. Like 7, 16 or 17. I'm 18. At least it's not pedophilia. <laughs> at least we at least we dodged that bullet. I don't know. I'm not trying to play dumb, I just have no answer. That's not part of the info I was given about 2010. Around 12 here? I mean, you know. My parents had to stop washing me at, like, what, like, I don't know. I don't really remember, like, they'd, it used to be that they'd run baths for me and I'd get in and do it myself. Because I didn't like showering until I was, like, eight or nine, from what I remember. I really don't actually remember much at all. When did I start showering? Maybe, maybe nine to ten I started showering. It was baths up to that point. re ro ro re ro ro Oh, roars indeed. Hello, Tannis. We're um we're trying to avoid crime at the moment. My my dad is trying to do the crime, and my friend is here to save me from not having crimes committed against me. We're we're current we're currently discussing at what age parents should stop showering or bathing with their kids. Really? I'll try to remember that. Yeah, you should definitely not be showering with your par with your parents as an adult. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, it's Bash the Future all over again. Marty's mom trying to fuck him. He's a beast? He's definitely a pervert. So let me get this straight. You're saying that in this era I shouldn't shower with dad? I mean, I, you know, I imagine we just do what we can in our dystopian future. We probably don't even shower. I'm a shoulder. We don't have the luxury, luxury of differentiating between men and women. And when I was little, I never got the chance to shower with my dad. I always wanted to try it at least once. Yeah, but just just don't, though. Maxei Kurosu said that this is a custom for families up until middle school. I mean, it's not really a custom. It's just like, how else is a kid, kid going to learn to shower themselves? But I never graduated from, let alone went to school. I've never taken a bath with my dad, and I doubt I ever will. That's fine! I'm sure you'll survive! <laughs> dad was never around. He died in 2036. Mexe Kurosu, I understand that I probably shouldn't get in there with him. But is it so unforgivable that I can't do it just this once? 
Please can we not do this? Kurosu, don't, don't, no! Iron Fist! Don't, no! 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 Don't give in! Then you can turn the other cheek just this once. No! Kurosu, please stop me! Please stop me, Kurosu! Oh no! I'm not happy about this. Then. Yes, Kurosu! Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving me. No matter what? Oh, thank God. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think you- I, you know, me personally, I think you're doing the right thing. I just think my character's too stupid to understand it. Yep, that's- you're not wrong, that's a fact that we should very heavily take into consideration. Uh, okay. Say so Maxi Kurosu argues so- I can't pronounce that word. With bloodshot eyes makes even a soldier like me wince. I was planning on having Dad show me around Aki Harbor after this. Do you think that'll be okay? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm. Like, we have to keep a leash on this man. Okay, got it. So linking arms is fine. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> okay. I know Maxe Kurosu is saying this because she's worried about me. That's why I decide to obediently follow her advice. You would most definitely be seeing red. No, wait, Daru, shut up. You're not. <laughs> You're not making yourself look any better right now, man. Okabe Rintro eventually shows up at the lab. Dad starts loudly snoring on the sofa, so I decide to head out and kill some time. What do I should do until he wakes up? Dad already agreed to contact me once he's up and, ab up, 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 up and about again. It wouldn't be right to warn Duraki Harbor until then, but there's not much else to do either. How about we do something about that outfit of yours? After arriving at the station, Omega says something strange. What do you mean? I know he's just dad, but it's sort of like a date, right? Wearing a jersey on a date is kind of... Eh. Seriously? Seriously serious. But it's vintage from the 70s. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is old. It might be a jersey, but it's no ordinary one. I wanted Omega to understand that, but she cuts me down right away. It's more of a disguise, right? To blend in once you go back to the 70s. Not even Beta is on my side. Gah. You're quite the looker, so you should wear something cute. You're one to talk. Is that weird coming from me? Pretty weird. How so? I think it's rather axiomantic. That word again? Omega looks displeased. She grimaces at even the slightly difficult vocabulary words. <coughs> Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, Dad's not going to see the difference between a good or a bad jersey. You think so? She's probably right. Dad's always wearing the same sorts of clothes, he doesn't seem like the type to know much about fashion. Oh, but he does like spats. Really? I overheard him talking to himself about how much he loves them. But maybe I should try and put the focus on them. I try raising my jersey a little, but it doesn't make much of a difference. I personally think you should just wear something cute. Keep it simple. 
But I don't own any clothes like that. I have no clue what's cute and what isn't. I've got mail from Karisu. Complaining. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to send the reply and then read it because it's a long one. I send long replies. Howdy. I never have guessed in a million years that we'd end up exchanging contact info. The past me, well, I guess the future me from this time period, would be shocked. I'd probably stick a knife in my hand. <laughs> yep, that's a fine sentence. I can help you coordinate. Let's go check out some stores. I don't even know where to start looking. I was never planning on coming to 2010 in the first place. If only there were four star stores in this era. Four styles? It's one of my favorite brands. It's in Shibuya, but the era and world line are different here. It might not exist yet. Shibuya, huh? That's a little too far to go on a win. I checked the route map at the station. On the Yamanote loop line, Shibuya is on the exact opposite side of Akihabara. It's in the western part of the 23 wards. Even on a bike, getting there takes somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour one way. We don't have a ton of time, so let's take the train. The train? Why not just bike it? We can't ride bikes, duh. There's no reason to force ourselves to go then. Besides, I'm not exactly thrilled at the prospect of getting cute clothes. I don't want to travel across town on unreliable information either. Why are you so lazy, Alpha? Omega calls me out. <coughs> Dad likes maths, right? Then why? Then I, I don't see why I have to... I try objecting, but Omega interjects. Don't you want Dad to think you're cute, Alpha? She's cunning right to the chase. But being asked that sort of thing is out outright is a little embarrassing. That's... well, yeah, but... Then just do as I say! Uh, okay. Which means first things first, I have to figure out how to ride the train. So, like, I, I just imagine like Mr. Weasley <laughs> when he tried to use the underground, <laughs> trying to get through the barriers. <laughs> he has no I fucking dare how to do it. After that, I follow Omega's orders. I rode the train as told, searched for stores as told, and bought clothes as told. <sighs> right around the time we finished shopping, Dad called, so we headed back to Akihabara. My outfit. That ad is way too much ribbon on it. One of the ghosts told me to do it. Do I look weird? I'm living a pretty normal life in Omega's world line, so... I'm not Omega, I'm Suzuha! Don't make things complicated! No, don't say it like that! But fe by fetishes, do you mean things you like? Oh my god, Daru! What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, that's fine. What is it? Thanks. No, not at all. Uh, it's just that nobody's ever said that to me before. I was surprised. That's right, nobody's ever said that to me. By the time I was aware of my surroundings, Dad was long gone. I never got to hear him compliment me even once. See? Aren't you glad you listened to me? Omega is completely right. Everything she said turned out to be true. Yeah, I am. The time we spend together after that exchange honestly feels like a dream. I know I've had it with them before, but the Sampo beef bowl we had together for lunch takes it tastes even better than it did that other time. Dad, do you mind if we hold hands? That's not what Kurisu said. <laughs> Maxi Kurisu told me not to go any further than linking arms. 
Good point. Suza, no! Iron well! Sounds good to me. Yeah, I thought, oh, yeah, whatever. I don't know, I don't go outside. And so we decided to link arms, but... That cell phone suddenly rings. I'm watching you. Dad shouts in surprise after reading the email. It definitely says I'm watching you. Yep, yep, I knew it, I knew it. He suddenly starts looking around frantically. What's wrong? She bugged us. How timely. I also immediately get a message. Oof. Oh, I forget. It's in this normal one. Looks like she intends to kill me, too. <laughs> Are their arms linked? I can tell the dad's actually scared. But I personally feel more relaxed. I might even be smiling a little. I wonder if this mech is Sekirisu's way of getting revenge. I once tried to kill her in the future. She becomes the enemy of humanity known as the Time Machine Mother. I apologized to her for it yesterday, but I wonder if she's the type to hold grudges. <laughs> that sounds like something you should say. I chuckle, but Dad doesn't follow along. He suddenly goes silent and looks down. What's wrong, Dad? Did I say something weird? I can't figure out the reason for his sudden silence. Remembered? I retrace my memories and attempt to find the cause for his reaction. It's about the time machine, right? I arrive at the answer almost immediately. Mm. You heard about it from Beta while repairing it, didn't you? Mm. I don't have to confirm what he heard, I already know. A time machine can only go back to the past. In other words, once I travel to 1975, I can't ever come back. How do you know? I guess I can't pull one over on you, Dad. I got a mail from Mayuri. Cool. Yeah, it's the only time machine the Resistance had. Time? No can do. It's not all powerful, and the longer I'm here, the higher the possibility of causing an irreparable time paradox. It's not a risk I can take. I'm sure you of all people understand that, Dad. And then... and what do you, you need time for anyway? What? Ah, Bradley's arrived. You you managed to not miss the stream. Congrats. 24 now. One away. Probably not. In this specific world line, you can't build a time machine capable of going to the future. That's just the way the world line converges. Here, no matter what we do, some will complete their time machine, leading to the realization of their dystopia and monopolization of all time travel devices. Their sole exception is the one that you leave behind in the future. Dad slowly lists each name like he's recalling them one by one. I steal my heart as best I can. I'll see everyone soon enough, even though I know it's a lie. Once I go back, I'll never see Dad or the others ever again. I already know why. I'm going to the past, remember? Once I get there, I'll just start my new life. 
I'll be over the age of 50, but I'll still be around in this era. But I have to convince him otherwise. If I don't, he's only going to worry even more than he already is now. If he found out he'd never be able to see me again, he'd try and stop me. Heck, we might have already met. I could be someone you know super well going by a different name. Creating a time paradox is always a possibility when it comes to meeting your past self. When I go back to the past, the me here in this era will be the only one left. I'm sure she'll probably reveal her real name at that point. Or maybe since we're having this conversation here right now, the me of this era won't appear until after I'm long gone. That's the kind of person I am, I can guarantee it. Dad is trying his hardest to accept what I'm saying. He's doing everything he can. But even I can tell that he's never going to be fully convinced. A theory is still only just a theory. A GAME THEORY! You're a nice guy, Dad. I'd always thought you were a more logical sort of person. Someone who'd strictly follow scientific theory and nothing else, I guess. You were smart enough to go and build a time machine, so I figured you stuck to your guns no matter what. Which is why I always thought we weren't much alike. I was supposed to be a soldier in the resistance, and yet when the sniper rifle landed in my hands for a mission, I couldn't pull the trigger. Ah, oh, you didn't shoot her! God damn it. <laughs> she deserves it for being an imbecile in, in this world line, honestly. Yeah. I feel the same way now. I'm glad I didn't kill Maxi Kurisu. Talking to her made me realize that she wasn't some evil supervillain. Back then, I never would have imagined that I'd come to feel that way. I failed that mission, and because of me, many of my comrades in arms died. I killed my comrades. 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 She's very, she likes having like breakdowns and repeating the same sentences. I've noticed that in her character. I felt that way for a long, long time. I refused to let their deaths be in vain. That's why I travelled to the past. I got the time machine that Dad left behind and travelled back in order to obtain the IBN 5100. But I decided to take a detour in this era. Dad threw away everything important to him in order to build this machine, and yet I used it for my own selfish reasons. I doubt Dad would have done something so illogical. That's what I always thought. But now I know. Dad knew. He knew that I'd come to meet him. That's why he entrusted the time machine to me. Dad lived his life in hiding from Sun so that he could send me off like this. Dad knew. He knew that I'd meet him here like this. That's why I'm sure Dad's... But now, I think we're pretty similar. Dad wasn't born a strong person. The world that Sun created made him that way. Which is why I'm going back to the past, even if you try to stop me. So how's about we avoid talking about this gloomy stuff for today? After our conversation, Dad doesn't bring up the time machine again. I doubt that's because he made peace with my choice. That's not something he'll ever make peace with. But he tried his best to smile the whole time we were together. Occasionally his mask would slip, but he tried his hardest. Dad really is a kind person. Thanks so much for today, Dad. By the time Araki Harbor at all comes to an end, the sunset illuminates the sky. Bonuses? What? That? That? What? Uh, uh, no, come on, man. Not cool. <laughs> she still peers behind his shoulder. I kind of wish she was holding a weapon. Neither of us had known as Maxi Kurisu's arrival. She shoots Dad a fearsome glare. 
Show me on the doll where he touched you. No, I don't think there's anything you need to worry about. Probably. He was really gentle. Not the pervy way. Max Sakurasu continues to eye Dad suspiciously, even after I answer her questions. Well, I don't know if I trust him. Max Sakurasu then turns to me. But she doesn't say anything. What is it? Looks to me like it's not nothing. So you were worried. I think I got what I wanted. Maxi Kurisu, you're a good person. I'm honestly so glad that I finally realized it for myself. Even if I'm a little late. If I hadn't been forcing my image of her future self over her present self, I probably would have come to that realization much sooner. She shoots me a smile. I wonder what Kurisu looks like in the future. I mean, we kind of see what Okabe looks like, but we never really see what uh, future Kurisu looks like. I'm surprised by a question. How did you know? It was a bluff. Can't say I expect you to use a tactic like that. I guess you're right. I look at Dad in response to a question. <clears throat> but he silently denies it. Were you thinking about us all day? You were thinking about us the whole time, weren't you? And you were watching over us too. For someone's a bit clingy. If, uh, well, you know, if we almost get there and back to the future, what can I say? Thank you, Maxi Kurisu. I realized that if I hadn't come to this era, I would have never said those words my entire life. To think that I'd feel gratitude toward her, of all people. If my friends in the resistance saw me now, they'd probably pass out. I can see it now. I'm truly glad that I was able to see you again, at the end. No. If I did, it would just cause me to have a second thoughts. I doubt that would be necessary. I'm just heading back to the past. Once I'm gone, the me and the Sarah will probably show up right away. This is just bye for now, Maxi Kurisu. She called it overly wishful thinking, but I know full well that this is all a lie. The me who went into the past is already dead. And even if we were able to see each other again, it'd be in the very limited time of this world line. Should my mission succeed, everything from past to future would be reconstructed on a different world line. But maybe that'd be for the best. Even if it's just for a brief time, even if our memories would vanish during the reconstruction. The truth remains that we were able to meet. After hearing her words, I turn towards my dad. I'm sure Max Sekurisu does as well. This is just bye for now, Dad. I can feel my chest tighten. 
Dad probably realizes that this world line needs to disappear. What is it? I'm prepared for the worst. Heck, I saw Dad hold himself back from saying something all day today. But instead? His words are completely different from what I had expected. I was ready to hear something tremendously sad, and instead I'm filled with happiness. I guess all that worrying was for nothing. It refers to the usual me. And just like that, Dad had erased all of my hesitation. My clothes weren't the only thing I never had to worry about. I can only live the way I know how. I'm sure that's because I'm my dad's daughter. Oh, I've got mail. From Okabe. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10. Beta is running the final checks. I'm the one who broke the time machine, but Beta and Dad fixed it. I told her I wouldn't hold her responsible if she couldn't do it, but Beta showed me her determination to fulfill her promise. It's like a true soldier. Honest and straightforward about the mission. Not too long ago, I probably would have longed to be just like her. Did I go too far with the clothes? Meanwhile, the other me is worried about something completely unrelated. No way, you're a huge help. But Dad said he prefers the usual Suzuha. Are you kidding me? If I was my usual self, I'd have been way too embarrassed to link arms with them. There are some things you can only do because you feel like a different person. You think so? Besides, I wanted him to call me cute at least once. I'm really grateful for all your help. There's no way I could have picked out such a cute outfit. I wouldn't have even thought to try and find one in the first place. I'm glad to hear that. Omega happily accepts my explanation and Beta approaches the two of us. I don't think this is a coincidence, she must have been watching our conversation. The final checks are complete, Alpha. Great, thank you for everything you've done. It's no problem, I just did what I could. Beta then stares at me. What is it? Might I make a suggestion? Sure, be my guest. I wonder what she's going to say after all our time together. Can I use the time machine instead? Wait, what? I've been thinking. If this is a one-way trip, I should be the one to go. That would be a mess without you here, Alpha. I'm a Mane Suza just as much as you are. Our ball lines might be different, but I have no intention of making my dad sad. Compared to Omega, Beta never really expressed herself much. Maybe that's why it feels like I'm hearing her own words for the first time. I might be like a ghost in this world line, but I was still able to perform repairs. If I should be able to get my past hands on the IBN 5100, if I go back into the past. Where's the Sigma? Oh no, we don't have the Sigma, I'm afraid. I'm confused. Like, what, what just happened? If I go back to the past... Oh, okay, this didn't, uh, nothing was really said. Curious is being be careful, I haven't seen each other again. I might not be leaving based on this conversation. Thanks, Beta. Her offer generally makes me happy. She doesn't want to make Dad sad, she wants to help me stay here. But I'm going. I can't accept her offer. I've already made up my mind. Though I suppose this was always the original plan. But why? Well, the first problem is that it's impossible. You and the other me are my ghosts. I think you're both possible versions of me created through my own hesitation. I don't think you'd be able to go back to the past and complete my mission. But there's always the chance that... This is the only time machine that Dad left behind. The risk of sending you alone to the past is just too high. And besides, you have your own role to play in your world line. My own role to play? If I was alone, my journey would have ended now. But because the both of you were here, I have the chance to write things. I can't have you shoulder any more of the burden than you already have. That's why I'm going to the past. If you still insist on travelling back in time, then the most I can offer you is that we go together. But I'm fairly certain that you'd both disappear on the way there. You just go back to the world lines where you belong. 
As if to prove my point, Beta and Omega both flicker and disappear for a moment. They were like ghosts to begin with, but now their existences have grown even more unstable. To be completely honest, I've been having a hard time just hearing your voice for a while now. I think you're right, I'm being sent back to my world line. If you already figured that much out, then why did you make the offer? She's contradicting herself. She can feel herself being pulled back to her own world line and yet she offered to go to the past on her own. Hey Alpha, did you ever put any thought into what you'd do if I couldn't fix the time machine? Nope. I answer a question, wondering why she asked one without answering mine first. If I wasn't able to repair the time machine, you would have to have had to remain in this era, regardless of your intent. You realize that, right? I can tell you're worried about me. I finally understand what Beta is trying to say. It makes me realize that I'm the sort of person who only sees people at their surface level. I convinced myself that I knew who Maxe Kurosu, Dad, and the other versions of me were. What I'm trying to say is that I think you should stay here. I always saw you as the perfect soldier, but you really are Amane Suzuha too. I'm at peace with myself. If I can be a foundation for the future, that's enough for me. I have no hesitation, no regrets. And I want you to understand that I'm at peace with this too. And like you, I took a detour. I hesitated. I had regrets. But I'm at peace with things now. That's the truth. To show her how serious I am, I took Beta right in the eyes. Beta's figure flickers and disappears again before returning. I finally understand how Dad felt when he entrusted the time machine to me. Building an incomplete time machine while hiding himself away from Sun. Dad knew. He knew I'd take a detour. He knew that I'd hesitate. But he still believed in me. He still be built the time machine. <coughs> So I want you to understand, I'm not going reluctantly. I'm not going because it's the only way. I'm not going because I don't want my friend's deaths to be in vain, or to atone for my sins. I'm not going to make Dad sad. You're going for yourself, aren't you? Beta's figure sways and flickers more violently. Exactly. I don't really get what's going on. What am I supposed to do? I didn't realize it until now, but Omega is crying. She seems to be getting emotional because she doesn't understand what Beta and I are talking about. I don't have a mission or anything. I go home, wake up in the morning, go to school. Upon seeing Omega crying, I realized that this girl really is in my sister too. <laughs> Damn the cruelty. Also, I was saying, you know, you're at 24 now, aren't you? So only one more to go and you've, you've reached the, the fame 25. Maybe we can see if we can get you all the way to a hundred if you if you if you can be dedicated enough. And Amane Suzuha, born into a peaceful world, living in a peaceful life. We're working hard so that one day we can become you. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get any of this. Beyond my mission, a world line free of sun's control awaits. But that world line isn't necessarily a peaceful one. Seeing how Beta is a soldier, I can tell. Even if the world line changes, other reasons could deny peace to the world. It's entirely possible that my mission will have had no meaning. But the existence of Omega shows that there's hope for a peaceful world line somewhere out there. That's right, she is hope itself. Just be happy, live life to the fullest. Which is why that's all I can ask of her. Amane Suzuha, born into a peaceful world, living a, f living a peaceful life. As long as she's happy, the efforts of other Amane Suzuhas will have been worth it. You don't have to tell me to be happy. I'm only sad because you're saying all this weird stuff. But our feelings can't reach her right now. No, I doubt they ever will. She'll never know the struggles that the other Amane Suzuhas went through. But that's okay. She showed me the end goal. What all of us want the most. And just forget everything we said. Are you sure? If it keeps you happy, go for it. I'm going to the past for myself. There's no need to drag her into it. Okay. Her figure violently sways and flickers, then vanishes for about two seconds. I'm only just realizing it, but her existence has also grown unstable. 
It looks like she stopped crying. There are still tears rolling down her cheeks, but I don't think there'll be fresh ones anytime soon. Oh, but can I say one more thing? As long as it's just one. Don't don't give mom and dad too much trouble, okay? You don't have to tell me. Whoa, shiny particles. That's all I asked for. That's all I want. There was no reply. She's gone. Along with Beta, who should have been right beside me. Thanks for appearing for me, Beta. I know I won't get an answer, but I continue anyway. You better get along with Mum and Dad, Omega. Thinking that it might still reach them. There's no usual, I'm not Omega, I'm Suzuha, objection from Omega this time. Adios. We only got to be together for a brief period of time. But I'm glad I got to meet the both of you. I climb into the time machine by myself and boot up the system. The sounds of it whirring to life strike me as terribly nostalgic. It feels like it's been ages since I came to this era. I'm sure everything will work perfectly. All the sounds line up with what's in my memories. They might just be sounds, but they're reassuring me now. I wonder if Dad was super fixated on this stuff too. I didn't give it much thought when I first used the time machine, but I remember it all perfectly. These reassuring sounds. Time to get going! I stretch my body out and sit in the chair. My seatbelt fastened, I take a deep breath. I take a look at the control plan and confirm the target time. 1975, the year I first aimed for. There it is. It's time to resume my journey into the past from which there'll be no return. A journey filled with unknowns, one where I could very well fail and die. But I'm not afraid anymore. FG204, second edition, the, the, what number was it again? Whatever. Take off! Flight 2.03 or something. I hear mum's voice. The usual voice saying the usual thing. Someone approaches me, planning to drag me out from under the covers. Don't you do it! Okay! I reply in order to stop them pretending to, pretending to be awake. I'm just pretending. Up until now, I'd usually stay in bed for a few extra minutes. Don't give mom and dad too much trouble, okay? But not today. I managed to drag myself out of bed before mom comes to get me up. I make my way over to the living room. Sausages! I want the sausages! Gib. Thanks to that, mom is surprised. I get that I have no right to talk since I'm usually so bad about this, but her surprise is still irritating. What, should I have stayed in bed? But mom's in a great mood. Is she that happy that I got myself up? I see. <laughs> Yay, 50%, let's fucking go! As always, I sit at the table where breakfast is laid out. Just like it always is. And my breakfast is ready just like it always is. And she's 18 and she's still getting a breakfast made for her? Damn, someone's fucking lucky, aren't they? Like, you know, they're... <laughs> they're the scissors is aiming for a perfect world. Damn, how perfect were they aiming for? 18 year old getting a breakfast made for them? Cool. I'm sorry? My iPod is just... Siri just activated. Siri, what the fuck are you doing? Shut the fuck up! What are you doing, man? I, he just started because I, I yelled sausages. And, and he started looking up sausages for me. Siri's gone absolutely insane. He's gone off the deep end. That is weird as fuck. Can you, can you calm it down please, Siri? Thank you. Nice. <clears throat> hey, Mom. But I think this is the first time I've ever said this. 
Would it be okay if I took care of the dishes? What? Oh my, like, okay, you know, I know, I know I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest at doing household chores. I'm, I'm pretty bad at it, I can't lie. But the first time you've ever, like, offered to do the dishes in 18 years of life? Like, come on. Like, I'm not great at it, but I've offered before, like, crikey. Mom is once again shocked by my words. Only this time, I feel a little proud for some reason. How weird. This is a very lazy, very lazy woman we've got here. You're 18. Get a grip. But we did win. Yay. Ghostly rendezvous. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Awesome. Let's see what we got then. CG library. What are our new CGs? There we go, the Suzuha one, starting here. Mainly Suzuha and Daru based. Well, all Suzuha and Daru based. We did it. We Any extras? Did it. We did it. No, no extras. It's just this random one that we got. And the playlist. Yay. 51% we've done now. We're zooming. And then the mail list, I don't think we're done. Let's have a look. Ghostly Rendezvous, I missed it. Let's see which one's, yeah, 90%. We missed one from Daru, one from Okabe, and that's it. Okay, we'll just do that quickly then. Start. But yeah, we've got one of these three to do next. This one wasn't it? Yes. Look at all these hundred percents I've got. Now a dirty ninety percent. We've got to fix that. So Bradley, how's uh, how's your morning going? You having a good day? I don't know you've probably just woken up, but still. No. Ho ho hope your day's starting off nicely. What is my iPod doing? My iPod's just got a mind it was something, I can't lie. It is literally just doing things by itself. My lord. Um Let's check the mail list. Our first one that we need is from Daru. And it is, because I just ignored it, because I'm an imbecile. It's the first one, the first path from Daru. Got it. Here is Masuza Huz, and I've received mail already. It's evidently not important mail, but it's not like me. Yeah. Let's go! Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> a sore throat? Oh no, you don't want a sore throat. From my Mayuri, what do we need to talk to? Any plans for the day? I'm, I'm going to the dentist today. That's what I've got going on. Uh, yeah, it's just testified. Did you get it? This is kind of embarrassing. Let's see what he responds to that with. He doesn't. You get one from Okabe. You're right, but it's still a little embarrassing. Will we get replies from either of them? I think it spread it out a bit more weirdly. Maybe not. Maybe we finished. Maybe we won. I think we won. Yeah, hundred percent. There were there was nothing after that. We just replied. Do, 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 do. Nah, I don't get fucking replies from these guys. Okay, it seems fine. We 100%ed it, it's all good. 
That took literally two seconds. Uh, no, we decided not to go see Ghostbusters today because James's schedule was too stupidly tight. I uh, know, I know, he, ru he ruined it all. It's all James's fault. Well, uh, I don't know, see if we can sort, see if we can sort out to go see it tomorrow, probably. Or some other time, because it's also got be my dad's work scheduling crap. But I am also done for the day. Why are you up? You can go away. Uh, I mean, maybe I'll I'll do some after the dentist. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how tired I am, really. Because I mean, my current sleep schedule sets me going to sleep at about two p.m. So <laughs> don't know if I'll be free after the dentist, but we'll see. Well, I've got to get up and actually get ready for my day now. So goodbye. It's nice to have you drop by to watch the end of my, my gameplay and to get 24 in the streak. You're so close. You're so close. You can't. You can't miss the last one of your streak. But I'll, I'll see you later.